Hello crazy coders today we will make a contact book using python i have already created a new file and named it contactbook.py so contact book mainly contains two things that is names and phone numbers so let me create empty list uh, for both and for one for names and one for phone numbers so after doing that i want to uh, declare the capacity of my contact book for the purpose of this so I can this I can use this variable in loops now I will run a for loop for i in range num that is what the capacity and I want to ask uh, the name and the phone numbers from the user so for that I will use input uh, but uh, let me create a variable for name to store the input and the prompt will be enter name simple and one more input I will be asking is phone number uh, so I will create a phone number variable and input function with the prompt enter phone number nice uh, now I will store the name and the phone number in uh, the list for that we have to use names dot append and uh, yeah it should be name and for phone number yeah it's a phone number so uh, i want to append phone number of the input so yeah uh, after appending it so this loop will run uh, three times uh, according to my capacity that i have declared and it will ask three names and then three phone numbers and now i want to print that uh, contact book so let's uh, print it now I will use tab space slash is an escape sequence to get a tab and uh, after a tab I want to print the name and after three tabs I want to print phone number and uh, to access each uh, name and row phone number I will use once again a for loop with range num so that's how many numbers are there so I will use just uh, f string because it's easier formatting here uh, so first of all I want to add a tab and then I want to add a name which I can access with name and uh, variable I will give the location so first time it will be zero so first name will be printed and then I want to again print three tabs and after that I want to print the phone number that's why I use curly braces because it is get replaced and again I so I am accessing one name and one phone number at a time according to loop so now after printing it I want to give uh, the user the ability to search for that I will create a variable named search oh let's uh, keep with the name variable name s and uh, I want to ask input uh, and this time enter the name to search now after entering after when he enters uh, this name I want to check if the name is in the contact book or not so for that a simple if statement but if s in or oh, the names say so that this is an in operator which basically checks uh, the user name which he inputted and in the list names so if it's if it's in I want to know the location uh, to retrieve that uh, name and phone number for that uh, there is a simple function first of all let me create a variable name index and to access a particular index of a particular value for that there is just index function so if you provide this a particular value it will search for the value in the names in the list and uh, it will return the index at which the name is now after getting the index I want to retrieve the name from the names list because now I know the index and after that I want to retrieve the phone number uh, for that phone number is the variable I'm choosing and phone numbers is a list which I want to retrieve and the index is the index which we got from here and uh, now yeah just print 
uh, I want to again print with f string name and name simple and for phone number I want to again use curly braces because I want to replace it with a variable the value will be replaced to so phone number and name but if the phone number if the name is not in the contact book which is for else I will just print name not found so let's keep it name not found so yeah we have successfully created a contact book let's check for the output so enter name oh uh, yes i want to enter the name the phone number let's give any random number now name john uh, second name is john and he has this number and uh, the third name let's make uh, ritesh and his number is suppose this so yeah su successfully i printed the names and the phone numbers uh, now it's uh, giving me option to search and for example if i want to search ritesh yeah i got the ritesh and his phone number name and phone number and if i entered something if i entered name that is not in this list then it will print uh, name not found so that's it from this video thank you for watching and we will catch you again